We discussed the democracy uh, around the world and the far right and the challenges for the far right and I think it was a very interesting debate about the development of the far right parties in Europe and also about the situation in the Ukraine. And we could hear from Julia the real fact and the real situation what is going on in Ukraine and what has happened with the Ukraine war in this time. In this session today we discussed the problems of the far right and general fascization of the mainstream politics in Europe and beyond. One of the main things that we discussed was how the far right is on the rise and then when tackling their rise we need to be thinking about what conditions drive uh, people to join extreme right forces. We talked about systemic inequalities uh, and dispossession and attacks on labor by transnational capital globally and how that uh, drives people uh, who are desperately dispossessed and marginalized by the system to join right-wing forces. Another thing that's extremely important in the context of the current Russo-Ukrainian war is to understand how an ability for international system to have a functioning security arrangement uh, and how the uh, international left not having a good answer to what to do in terms of wars of aggression is also further pushing some of those who are victims of aggression towards the right. We need to ask ourselves these very complicated questions. We need to work to restructure the international security architecture, democratize it, horizontalize it, have a ready answer of what to do when one country is attacked by another, get rid of hierarchies in the in the UN Security Council uh, as a start so that no more countries are being pushed to NATO as the only protector that is left for them. Today we debate how the European left can help the struggle of the people of Ukraine. We need to end this unjust war to stop the Russian invasion. And also, we need to debate how we can build a broad solidarity movement in Europe, how to build an Europe that works for everyone and not just for a small economic and financial elite.